Hello, I'm Marcy Straw, Executive Director of the California Music Center, producer of the Irving M. Klein International String Competition. And I'm delighted to welcome you to our second Klein at Home Hour, a monthly series of curated concerts featuring Klein laureates mined from our archives over the years from the competition. In addition to seeing some wonderful performances, you'll get a chance to test your musical knowledge, as well as catch up on the latest from our artists. These broadcasts will go up on YouTube and Vimeo the first week of each month and remain there for a limited period of time. The Klein has enjoyed international acclaim as one of the most prestigious classical music competitions in the world. For the past 35 years, we've had the great pleasure of bringing extraordinary young string players to San Francisco each June to compete for cash prizes and performance contracts. We support these extraordinary players early in their careers, assisting them in the development of professional and performance skills, as well as encouraging their community involvement. And we also support them with performance opportunities and monetary support. For this month's Klein at Home Hour, we've selected performances that speak to the bittersweet turning of the season, featuring Alina Kobialka, Maya Ramchandran, Dom Min Hyun, and a special treat, the Amphian String Quartet, featuring David Southern, Andy Lin, and two Klein laureates, Katie Hyun and Mihai Marika. First up is violinist Alina Kobialka playing the Allegro Molto e Appassionato and the Allegretto Espressivo alla Romanza movements from the Violin Sonata No. 3, Op. 45 by Edvard Grieg at the 2016 competition. Alina is currently preparing for a live stream recital in November and is scheduled to play the Nielsen Violin Concerto with the Camellia Symphony when public events resume. In 2021, Alina plans a recital sometime in February or March and is looking forward to a Marlboro tour in April and May. Alina is also scheduled to return to the Marlboro Music Festival next summer. To catch up with Alina, visit alinakobialka.com. As always, we wish her and all the artists featured today a safe future return to performance, teaching, and study. Alina says that she fondly recalls that Grieg performance as a powerful and transcendental moment for her. So let's kick things off with Alina Kobialka performing a movement from Edvard Grieg's Violin Sonata No. 3 with Timothy Bach on piano.
Normally our performers, the distinguished jury, our pianists, and a live audience would gather at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music for the annual Klein competition. In 2020, the Klein was conducted and broadcast entirely online. If you missed it, or the first Klein at Home Hour, they're up on our California Music Center YouTube channel to enjoy all over again. Now, here's this month's trivia question for you. What 20th century piece was broadcast over the radio at the announcement of Franklin D. Roosevelt's death, broadcast on television at the announcement of John F. Kennedy's death, played at the funeral of Albert Einstein, played at the funeral of Princess Grace of Monaco, and played at Ground Zero to honor the memory of the victims of the September 11 attacks. I'll provide the answer later. 
in this broadcast. Next up is Dong Min Hyun performing Lente Andante Tranquilo, the second movement of Victor Herbert's Cello Concerto No. 2 in E minor, Opus 30, also from the 2016 competition. Born in Seoul, South Korea, Dong Min started the cello at the age of eight, studying with Kyung Ah Kim. In 2014, she came to the United States to study with Dr. Clara Min Hai Kim at the pre-college division of the Juilliard School. Dong Ming now studies at the Manhattan School of Music and is a member of the MSM Philharmonia. A prolific composer who wrote orchestral, concerto, chamber, piano, and choral works, Victor Herbert wrote quite successfully for the stage. His many operettas and musical comedies were popular from the 1890s to the 1920s and included Cyrano de Bergerac, Little Nemo, Naughty Marietta, and Babes in Toyland. Famously, his 1910 song, Ah, Sweet Mystery of Life, was deliciously butchered by Madeleine Kahn in Mel Brooks' 1974 comedy, Young Frankenstein. But now, let's listen to Dong Min Hyun explore the more classical side of Victor Herbert in this movement from his lovely cello concerto. Timothy Bach is on piano.
Again, we're going to take a five minute break, but first I want to encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to be in the know about all things Klein, visit CaliforniaMusicCenter.org to sign up for our e-list. Promise we won't spam you and you'll always be the first one to know about upcoming events as well as the latest on our Klein laureates. And if you'd enjoyed this broadcast so far, please consider a donation to help us with this new online direction and to support our artists. It would be greatly appreciated. And it's easy. You can text a donation to GiveCMC to 44312. That's GiveCMC to 44312. Or if you prefer to donate securely, again visit CaliforniaMusicCenter.org to donate there. I've got a little treat for you. It's Julia Mirzoya, who is going to be the featured artist in our new ticketed series of all new recitals, Third Thursdays, that's going to debut on September 17th. Julia has a wonderful program planned. Uh, you may remember her beautiful performances at the 2019 competition, and she'll be accompanied this time by Coral Solomon Brakowski. Her program's going to include Beethoven, Chopin, Isai, Debussy, and a surprise or two. I encourage you to get your tickets now. They're available at Eventbrite or again on CaliforniaMusicCenter.org. Suggested ticket donation is $20. We'd love to see you there. Julie is going to be on hand afterward from Toronto to chat with all of you. It's going to be a lovely evening. It's the closest thing we're going to get to our beloved house concerts this season. So I hope you can join us and hope we can see you there. But now, here's Julia playing the commissioned work by Carlos Simon for the 2019 competition Between Worlds. And then we'll see you again very soon.
Welcome back. Our program continues with the lush Moderato Nobile from Eric Korngold's Violin Concerto in D Major, Opus 35, played by Maya Ramchandran at the 2016 competition. Maya earned her undergraduate degree at Brown in Applied Math and Biology in 2015 and graduated with a Master's in Music from New England Conservatory in 2017. That fall, she began a Ph.D. in Biostatistics at Harvard. Maya just moved back to the Bay Area and is entering the fourth year of her doctoral program. Like many of our laureates, she will be finishing her degree remotely from there. Maya hopes to stay in the area and continue pursuing music performance while working further on ways to improve health care through statistics. Throughout her doctoral studies, Maya has continued to play and perform at concerts and festivals in California and the East Coast. Check out her lovely Isai performance on YouTube. I'll provide a link to it and other links mentioned in this program at the end. Here's Maya with Korngold's Violin Concerto with Miles Graber on piano.
And now, the answer to the trivia question. It was indeed the famous movement you'll hear in our closing performance today, the deeply moving Molto Adagio, popularly known as Adagio for Strings, from Samuel Barber's String Quartet in B minor, Opus 11. To conclude today's broadcast, here is the Molto Adagio movement from Barber's String Quartet in B minor, Opus 11, performed by the Amphion String Quartet at our 30th anniversary celebration concert in June 2015. The quartet includes David Southern, violin, Katie Hewn, violin and 2003 Klein Prize winner, Andy Lynn, viola, and Mihai Marika, cello. Mihai took home first prize in the 2005 competition. Co-founders of the Amphion Quartet, Katie and Mihai, are thriving chamber musicians. The quartet was on the roster of the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center's prestigious Bowers program for the 2013-16 seasons. Katie is the founder and director of Quad Libet Ensemble, a small chamber orchestra that made its debut in 2008 to great praise. On the Baroque violin, she frequently appears with Trinity Baroque Orchestra, the Helicon Foundation, and New York Baroque Incorporated. She holds degrees from the Curtis Institute of Music, SUNY, Stony Brook, and the Yale School of Music. According to family lore, Romanian-born cellist Mihai Marika first asked for a cello at age three, wanting to emulate his talented father. The family held off, presenting Marika with the longed-for instrument on his seventh birthday. He studied with Gabriela Todor in his native Romania and with Aldo Pariso at the Yale School of Music where he was awarded master's and artist diploma degrees. Mihai joined the acclaimed Apollo Trio in 2018 and maintains a busy international schedule. He's also committed to supporting young musicians and is set to work with student groups at the Chamber Society of Lincoln Center where he often returns to perform. I've provided links to both the Quad Libet Ensemble and Mihai's websites. And now, let's hear this exquisitely poignant and poetic piece.
Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed these performances. And if you have, please consider a donation to help us continue our work in these uncertain times. Text Give CMC to 44312 or donate securely online at CaliforniaMusicCenter.org. Coming up next month for the Client at Home Hour will be a selection of the commission works. These are new works that we've commissioned especially for the competition over the years. This should be a really, really fun program, so I encourage you to tune in. That program will go up online the first week of October. And don't forget the debut of Third Thursdays, our pandemic era house concert series of all new recitals featuring recent Klein Prize winners. First up will be Julia Mirzoyev on September 17th with pianist choral Solomon Burkowski. And that'll be followed on October 15th by our second prize winner, Dakota Cotugno, lovely cellist, on October 15th. And in November, we'll be featuring James Bike, our first prize winner from the 2019 competition from Houston. So all of those recitals are going to be all new. These are ticketed. So to get yours and reserve your space and your access, please go to eventbrite.com or California Music Center. Suggested ticket donation is $20. We'd love to see you there. Uh, Julia is going to be on hand on September 17th after the concert for live chat, so don't miss that. It's the closest thing we've got these days to our beloved house concerts, so it'd be lovely to see you there. And with that, we will sign off for now, but until the next time, Stay safe, stay strong, keep listening, keep playing, and we hope to see you again very, very soon. Take care.